good afternoon good morning or whatever depending on where you're at and where you're watching this from how you guys doing today i am on my way to do the glucose test i actually have the drink with me and i got the little punch one honestly i don't know what to expect too much um i know they told me to show up 30 minutes after i drank this i'm supposed to start drinking this at 2.20, it's 2.15, is it? What time is it? Yeah, it's 2.15 right now. So I have to drink this within five minutes and show up 30 minutes after I have drinking this. So I'm supposed to be at my appointment at 2.50 and it is 2.15 right now. So I got five minutes to drink this down. I'm probably gonna have to, definitely have to drink this on the way. I called them a couple of times, they haven't answered, so hopefully I'm looking at these instructions right. If not, then I guess I'll be sitting at the doctor's office for a minute. But when I drink this, I'll put you guys on the tripod. It's gonna be shaky, I know, but what can I say? um yeah but i don't really know what to expect because i don't think there's a lot of good um videos on people who are taking the glucose test now there is a lot of people that post videos on it but it's not really that clear i'm gonna try to be as clear as possible but i am going to a different location than what i usually go to so i don't know how it's going to be with filming david's not going to meet me at this appointment because he has a lot of stuff that he has to do at work today so he couldn't get it off so it's just gonna be me and you guys today so i thought i should throw on the camera i got on my little look at look at look at her she's rounding out i think this outfit is making me look very pregnant so i got a little bump but she's just holding in there my phone dirty child don't look at that so yeah i don't really know what to expect but i'm just gonna wing it see how it goes so so it is 21 so I gotta drink this in five minutes so I gotta drink it by 20 to 26 don't worry about my stuff back there this tastes like a very cheap 25 cent juice they sell in the hood <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 
Clarissa. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm well, thank you. One more week further along, huh? Yes. Well, you've been seeing a bunch of doctors, haven't you? A lot. How are things? Uh, it's consistent, so that's good. That's good. Your cervix is, I think, about a centimeter, a little bit more than a centimeter on the last sonogram, right? Mm -hmm. Baby's moving okay? Yeah. Uh, the fetal fibronectin test that you had done a week ago, that came back negative, okay? So okay. that's good. That test would indicate that you're likely to be pregnant for a while. Okay? Okay. Women that start to release fetal fibronectin from their cervix are more at risk to go into labor sooner. So that's a good, that's some good news for you. Okay. Quit laying back. Did you pray your blood yet today? Yeah. Okay. That's a test to check your blood iron level again, but also more importantly, to check the blood sugar level. Okay. The one thing I need to do today, since there's no sonogram this week, is to gently check your cervix and see how it feels. Okay. So we're going to listen to the little boy, little girl. Girl. Little lady. Yeah. Does she have a name yet? No. Oh, yeah. <coughs> little Miss No Name. <laughs> and you're using the progesterone every night? Mm -hmm. Centimeters. I'll make straight legs from here. Okay. So from the top of your pubic bone to the top of your uterus, you should measure approximately in centimeters how many weeks you are. And you measure right 24 to 25, so that's good. Grab my elbow. We're going to sit. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you. That's a good way to have somebody help you sit up. Okay. People, yeah, tend to, people, people tend to want to grab your hands and pull. That's not that a good way. That happens all the time. Yeah, that's not such a good way to do it. All right, that gonna, happens all the time. I'm going to step out, mm -hmm. and if you sneak out of your bottoms, okay. cover yourself with this drip. I'll come back with my nurse. We'll just gently check that cervix and see how it feels. Okay. I'll be okay. back in just a minute. That's perfectly fine. Thank you. Yeah. All right, you guys. So I am officially out the doctor's office. This appointment was more eventful than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a situation where I get my labs and be kinda out the door situation, but clearly that is not the case. It is 3.57 and my appointment was at 2.50. So I've been here roughly about an hour. It didn't take long at all. I seen the doctor that I like, the original doctor that told me like, hey, I think something wrong, let's go get it checked. I go see him. And I also go see him again next week. So the part that you probably did not see, cause I tried to record, I don't know if it came out good or not. So he said that my cervix measured a 1.5, that it's closed and done, it doesn't have any pressure, that my stomach measured on point, and that he wants to start seeing me every week now, alternating between him and fetal medicine. I thought it would have been every two weeks, but clearly it's not the case. Uh, I think if I would have been seeing the other do doctors or whatever, they would probably still have me say four weeks, but four weeks would be roughly 31 weeks, I think. So maybe that would be too far. But I thought once I get into like the 32 week mark, they would have started seeing me later on, but I go see these people every week now. So I'm gonna be on the road a lot, so. I should have a lot of updates, but since my doctor's appointment, my fetal medicine, and this, this doctor will be on the same week, I will just have a very eventful bump date for you on Friday. So we shall see how that goes, but yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with, what, with how the appointment went. I don't know what the results of the glucose. The glucose will come next week. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it. I'm gonna go try to grab me something to eat because I'm super hungry. I hope I bring my debit card because I hardly bring my card because I actually use Samsung Pay a lot. Yes, I have an Android. I love Android. I don't care what no one says. And I don't really take my card anywhere. So I'm hoping that I can do that because I really don't want to get out and get no food, honestly. So 
let's see where that goes but yeah otherwise i think that will be it i'll see you in the next one